In a recent project with Google Sheets um, that involved names and duplicate data, much like the sheet I'm looking at here, I needed to find an easy way to find that duplicate data and sort through it. Uh, there, there were a few add-ons on Google Sheets. One, uh, one was a pay-for item, and then the other, it just didn't do what I needed. So I thought it would be a fun program to write on our own. And here we go, so tools, and then into script editor to start writing our actual script. All right, here we are, creative as ever. I named this, yeah, find duplicates. Um, and now I'm going to comment out my standard info, the name of the program, my name, so on and so forth. This program I'm using to find duplicates in a specific row. Um, I will in the future, the next video more than likely, I'll open up the option to easily change it from a row to a column um, and kind of select the range, or at least I hope so, uh, to easily select the range where we are locating these duplicates. Regardless, um, here we are. This is always standard for me. It's shorthand. I highly recommend it. Variable SS, and that's just, I'm setting that equal to our active spreadsheet, and then variable sheet setting that equal to our active sheet. And first up, we're going to create an array with the data from our chosen column, because again, I'm just looking for duplicates within a single column to uh, start, start off this program. Variable column, that's the column we're going to be looking at. It's why I declared it to make it easy and noticeable. And I'm looking at column two. Uh, last row, we are going to be needing the last row while we loop through the data. Variable column range. And yes, we're going to use the range, and but we need to do the, as I'm trying to point out, integer row, integer column, and then integer number of rows. So. We're going to start with row run, row one, our variable column has already been declared up there at the top, and we do want to go down to the last row to make sure we get all the data. And then next up, what I'm doing here is declaring the actual array that this data is going to be put into. So column range get values. Now, on Google Sheets, doing this column range get values, what it is going to return is an array of arrays. But it's a single column, so it's an array, and then each item is within its own array. And I want to strip that out. So what I'm doing here, range arrays, range array equals, and then taking this array, I'm concatenating it, right? So I'm going to remove that first level of array and leave it within a single array. Instead of being an array of arrays, it will be an array of strings. So logger.log range array. Logging is for error checking. We're going to be doing that in just a moment. And then at the end of this, I will be returning the actual range array, range array for later use in the program. And I just attempted to test it. Oh, uh, yes. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I trust myself. Go ahead and allow. All right, let's try that again. Excellent. It looks like no bugs so far. And that is what we expected. That is the column of names, which I'm showing here. So, so far, so good. And now I'm going to go ahead and just to make sure I do this, I declare the main function. And within the main function is where we're going to be calling all the other functions. And I'm going to put in here, I will declare a variable data to go ahead and put that returned item or returned range array uh, assigning data to that. Ooh, did I miss a semicolon? Let's hope I find that before I run it again. Um, and now that I've gotten that done, I'm going to go ahead and comment out and explain the next function. Um, I often do this even within my own programs, just so I know what I'm doing or what I was thinking. Uh, so sort data and find the duplicates. To lower the weight of the program, if you will, we are going to sort the data before running through it and looking for duplicates, just alphabetizing it. I do like that my find duplicates has to you. Duplicate use there. Um, Anyways, to sort it, variable sort data equals data slice. We're slicing through the data, and then we're rearranging and sorting it. 
and then our array is the array is I named duplicates, and we are going right into the loop. For our loop here, variable i, standard stuff, sort data, we want to go to the length um, minus, sort data, we want to go to the length minus 1 uh, to make sure we do not go over our data if, And this is if statement is just comparing, of course, uh, one data point to the next. And since our data has been sorted, looking at them right next to each other will tell us if there is duplicated data or not. If there are duplicates, I am pushing it into that sorted data, um, and I will do so at point I. Oh, no. I'm doing, I'm, the data that is duplicated is being pushed into that new array. And here we go again. I'm going to log it just to check when I run through it to debug, and then we will return duplicates. So, aha, and I saw our missing semicolon. And then I'm going to go ahead, yep, add variable duplicates, and then I'm going to run our find duplicates function within main. Let's save that. Let's run it all through main and oh. Sorry. What did I do here? Oh, 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 oh. I forgot the parentheses. Of course. Yeah, and that looks good, because that should be, yes, Alvin is duplicated, and Dale is duplicated. Excellent. So far, so good. So it is outputting, it is recognizing which data is the duplicated data. Now, to make this more useful, we don't want it just to recognize this. We want it to show us, or show me, where it actually is in the spreadsheet. And that is what I'm working on now. Find locations of all duplicates. Function, get the indexes. So we're returning the indexes of the duplicated data. Something that was a bit trickier about this function is we do want to make sure that we're getting not just a single index or even just two indexes. If data is duplicated, it could be duplicated three or four or five times. And so it was essential for me to make sure that I was getting the indexes of every data point that is duplicated throughout the sheet or throughout the column we're looking at. And that's what we're going to work on. So let's loop through the duplicates to find uh, to find their indexes. Comments, again, when you go back to a project after a month, it helps a lot. So for variable in, we are declaring a new loop variable here. I went fancy with in for number, n equals 0. We're going to have that less than the length of duplicates and n plus plus. Inside of this for loop, we are going to go ahead and write this while loop. This wall loop is looking for those indexes. So i equals data index of, and then we're using our for loop to loop through our array of duplicates, uh, to loop through that array of duplicates, check it with the, uh, check the duplicate with, with the data in the array, obviously. Once we find the index of that, we are adding its location using indexes push i. Hopefully that all goes according to plan, and we'll have an array of all of the indexes in our of the an array of all the duplicates in our duplicate array. Maybe. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So get indexes. I'm adding it to main. I need to throw in those parameters of data and duplicate and no bugs. Oh, that looked promising. We have four indexes. 
do we have duplicate names, Alvin and Dale? And that looks like that would be success. So there's Alvin, there is Dale, they each appear twice. So that is outputting the correct indexes. Um, of course, it was off by one, right? Sheets being numbered starting at one, code being numbered started at zero. So it was off by one, um, as expected. Now, we are going to, or I am going to, highlight the locations of that data. Therefore, the user, therefore I, can delete it, can change it, can combine it, who knows. Again, I'm going to use another for loop. We're using this loop to go ahead and loop through our indexes and to use those to locate the data that I will want to edit, whether I want to delete it, move it around, combine it, regardless. All right, so sheet, get range, indexes, in. We're looping through again these uh, index values that we just got, plus one, because in sheets, to use this number, it needs to be plus one, because code starts at zero. Um, the column number that we're using, ooh, I'll we'll need to add that to the top. And then I'm going to set that background color to yellow. It looks like I forgot a period. Let's see if I catch that. Excellent. This is where I'm going to add that. And again, this variable column, I didn't need to add. I'm doing it to, oh, is this the period? Yep, right here. Um, I'm adding that variable just to make it clear where I'm picking the column if you would want a different column. Let's go ahead. That looked successful. And our information is highlighted. And like I said, now I can edit it and I could do, uh, well, whatever I need. Let's go ahead. Am I going to give it a more difficult test, I believe? Kind of went nuts with the copy and pasting for a second. And then let's try it now. Ultimate test. And again, success. So again, this is limited to that singular column. You could change that column. I hope to add um, another video. I'm going to expand this so that I could select different columns easily with a, hopefully with a user interface so other people could even uh, use it, columns or rows. I'm just going through now, cleaning up the code a bit. I don't need those logs anymore since I know it's functioning um, as expected. So hopefully it was useful. I'll post the code below. Feel free to use this, change it, do whatever you need with it.